XRP up over 10%. The class action lawsuit against the SEC filed again. Some clarity on the judges in the case based on the hearings yesterday and a ripple on CBDCs. If we haven't met before, my name's Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, personal finance, and investing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do that now. That way I can keep you informed on the latest updates. And if you want to be as fly as Brad Garlinghouse on the moon with a crypto market cap, hit the link in the description to get your own crypto market cap. All right, let's jump right into it. XRP is up over 10% in the last 24 hours. It's been buoyed up by the positive news that we've seen based on the hearing yesterday. Some really good things out of that. We'll get into that a little bit more later. But if you didn't see the video yesterday, hit that link and then you can hear straight from the mouths of the attorney and Judge Netmerd about what is going on and some of the opinions and perspectives. Really good stuff there. And we'll talk about Jeremy Hogan in just a minute. John Deaton, who we have learned more about in the course of this class action lawsuit, is now back again after the original filing was rejected. Now filed again with over 10,000 XRP holders on this class action lawsuit. So has been refiled yesterday and if you are an xrp holder and want to express your interest here is the contact info follow john deaton on twitter at john e deaton one and then here pinned to the top of his twitter is the form for the class action lawsuit so please do that if you are interested in participating all right, I have mentioned it many times before, but if you are still missing out on this, uh, don't. Legal Briefs is a fantastic channel here run by Jeremy Hogan, who is an actual lawyer. I am not, no legal or financial advice here, but he gives some great perspective. And one of the questions most asked in the comments on yesterday's video is the difference between Judge Torres and Judge Netburn. So, I'm going to let Jeremy Hogan explain this because he does a great job of explaining the difference and how they work together. This way you're informed and you have a more robust opinion. I highly encourage you to watch this video in its entirety because he touches on some additional things from the hearing yesterday that I think are really well laid out. He does a fantastic job of explaining it. Check this video out. I'll link it down below. Subscribe to his channel because he provides lots of updates from the perspective of a lawyer. Now, that being said, let's listen in to how he differentiates between the role that Judge Netburn has in this case and Judge Torres. Here we go. Now, this hearing was with the magistrate judge. Her name is Judge Netburn, and it is true that she isn't the main judge in the case. But the first thing you have to understand is that in federal court, Judge Netburn and Judge Torres, they're kind of like a team, and they work along with law clerks. They talk about cases. They roundtable them. They go out to lunch. They talk about them over lunch. So when Judge Netburn says XRP is a currency with utility, and she says it as a factual statement, you better believe Judge Torres is very likely saying the same thing, or at least knows that Netburn feels that way. And the other thing to know is what the role of the magistrate judge is in the court. Let's take a look at a guide to the federal magistrate judge system for more information. What does the magistrate judge do? They settle discovery disputes, they conduct mediations, and they make recommendations regarding summary judgment. Yes, Judge Netburn will be involved at the two most important junctures of this case. She will be mediating the case and she will be involved in discussions with Judge Torres as to who should win the case. Now, if I'm Ripple, I'm feeling pretty good that my mediator and consulting summary judgment judge just said on the record what I essentially argued in my pleadings. And when I say I'm feeling pretty good, I mean like, is this really happening? Pretty good. But there was one more thing that was all right, so good stuff there. Obviously, we know that they're working on the same team, Judge Torres and Judge Netburn. So really interesting to hear these opinions coming out in court. 
because I think it's a great way to understand what the court's general opinion is regarding the case and how this is playing out or how it should play out. So really good stuff there. Again, check out his channel and watch this video in full because it's really fantastic. He hits some great points. Now, via Ripple's Twitter, they now have a white paper on the future of CBDCs. This is a topic that comes up quite a bit, and I know there's a lot of interest in CBDCs uh, on the channel. I've been asked questions about it, and it's something that I'm doing more research on. So I'd encourage you to download this straight from Ripple with the research that they've done and what their feelings and thoughts are. And you just follow the link. It's real easy. You just fill this out, and they'll send you a copy. Uh, I'm going to start going through it, and in the future here, we'll do a video on CBDCs to, to go more in depth. It's one of those topics I think really is worth discussing but not at just the surface level. It's one that we should take some time, do the right research, understand, and make sure that we're seeing the opinions of experts in the field because this is really revolutionary and is going to change the way that we conduct financial transactions uh, globally. So really an important topic for the future. We'll get to it, but for now, I highly encourage you again, check out the Legal Briefs channel. If you aren't subscribed here, hit that subscribe button so I can keep you informed. We've grown a lot here recently, and I thank each and every one of you for being here. I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to be here with me, and I will do my best to keep you informed. Drop me a like. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.